So a day after the official release of macOS 13.1, we now have the first beta of the second point update when it comes to macOS Ventura, bringing us to macOS 13.2 beta 1. In this video, I'm going to be telling you all there is to know the new features and changes as well as some of the bug fixes that you definitely have to know when it comes to this update. My name is Ben and this is Half Man Half Tech. First things first, the first thing we have to talk about is the update size itself. So for me on my 14 inch MacBook Pro, this update came in at exactly 1.27 gigs updating from macOS 13.1 of course and the actual download size increased to 2.12 gigs and basically I've updated my device and if we go into the system settings and go to general and go to software update you'll be able to see that it is up to date and then you'll also be able to see the new build number that we have here with macOS 13.2 beta 1 you can see the build number here it's 22d 5027d so this build number has a d at the end and in terms of stability it's not the best and it just goes to show that we have some more steps to go before we can see this this update being released i am going to be mentioning the official release of mac os 13.2 at the end of this video so do stick around and speaking of the release date i want to show you some of the other updates that apple released today when it comes to apple's operating system so today Apple released iOS 16.3 beta, iPadOS 16.3 beta, macOS 13.2 beta of course, this is the video for that, and watchOS 9.6 beta as well as tvOS 16.3 beta. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if that's something that you're interested in and you want to get to know your device better and get to know what you can do or thanks to just operating systems, then definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date with the latest. Now, Let's talk about the new features and changes that this update has to offer as there's quite a bit. So the first one that I noticed when I updated my device from macOS 13.1 to macOS 13.2, the first beta, is that there was a opt random pop-up screen for optimization after updating to macOS 13.2, the first beta. This is something that was random and I had not experienced it when I initially updated to macOS 13.1 the official release or the first beta so something random if you do update just know if you see something like this you're not alone and it's just optimization and it disappeared and finished optimizing a few seconds after if we go into our system settings and then we go to our apple id and if you go to where it says passcodes and security right there and then you go all the way down it takes it does take a moment to load up here so do give it uh, some seconds depending on your network as well of course mine is not the greatest at this time if you go all the way down you'll be able to see security keys and thanks to apple for adding this and you notice that this section says physical security keys provide a strong form of two-factor authentication and if i notice if you click on the more learn more here the page isn't actually being found and pardon me for my network as it's not the greatest so the page you are looking for is not being found that's what i keep getting and if you go to where it says security keys right there we'll click there where it says add and this now tells you more about the security keys and the ability to add security keys that you have here so you notice security keys a fido i believe it stands for fast id online certified security key is a third party hardware that lets you be able to verify your identity when you sign in so you can see here it's the strongest account security and this replaces verification codes you notice here it says the security key replaces verification codes sent to your device when signing in and resetting your password this is true and this security keys are a higher term of 2fa or 2 think 
two-factor authentication and sometimes those security codes that were sent to your sim or your device could sometimes be sim swapped and that wasn't the highest form of security so if you do have a usb device it could be a usb a usb c or even an nfc enabled security key you can go here and then you can click on the add key and then this is something that you'll be able to do and you actually be able to add a security key and use it for better authentication for your device now if we actually go into safari right here and go to see some new advances um, apple advances user security with powerful new data protection you notice here that apple mentioned some of the new advances and protection is, uh, that are going to be coming to some apple devices such as iMessage contact key verification this is something that i looked into deeply when it comes Comes to iMessage and the Apple Messages app, I couldn't figure out or, or see any unrecognized device that may have been added to any of my friend that I was testing with, and so this could be possibly something that comes in another later update and this is now the security keys that has been added to macOS 13.2 the first beta and this is what was added previously when it comes to mac os 13.1 the official release and it has to do with advanced data protection for icloud and the way you could basically access this you go into your system settings and then you go to your apple id again and if you click where it says icloud you go all the way down you'll be able to see this section that says advanced data protection and if you click there you'll be able to see what this does and unfortunately even on mac os 13.2 the first beta this advanced data protection is not yet available in canada which is shocking at this point in time but hopefully this is something that apple will add on perhaps with the second or third beta or even with the official release later on in the year or early on next year when this update comes out officially so that's just something that i thought i should mention when it comes to this update there's also another change that's here with this update and for you to be able to see this i looked into most apple applications just to see what got an update or not and the first one or or perhaps the only one that i noticed has to do with the apple maps app and you do see here that we have a new splash screen that says what's new in maps and it just mentioned multi-stop routing and it says add multiple stops along your route and this is something that was always there with the initial release of mac os ventura and even with mac os 13.0.1 this is something that was there but also within maps i did get feedback of people mentioning that you now have the ability to tag and leave comments as well as ratings on different places and the input output points on that has also been updated minor it's not a big change something that has always been there but now the rating page has been updated now also when it comes to safari i'll be happy to let you know that safari has been updated slightly so it just has to do with the build number that we have so if we go to about safari here the build number we have is 18614.4.1 and coming from mac os 13.1 this has been updated slightly and the build that we had previously was 18614.3.7.1.5 so a big change in the build number i'm yet to test it out and see what apple is trying to resolve or stabilize when it comes to safari now if we go into our system settings and then go to accessibility right here and click where it says live captions right there you can see that live captions is still in beta but this time around if you switch on live captions and give it a few seconds you'll be able to see the little bar that shows up here and you can see here unlike what we had before this is actually way faster and if it's your first time that you're going to be turning on live caption you're going to see a bar that says downloading languages so this is something that you can always set up if you use live captions but unfortunately even on mac os 13.2 the first beta this is still in beta when it comes to live captions hopefully we do get to see the full potential of this 
pretty soon now there are some bugs and issues that have been resolved when it comes to this mac os 13.2 and the first one has to do with login items and if you have login items that you have grouped or you have set sometimes rebranding or turning on and off logging items could cause your login items to misbehave or to get ungrouped or even deleted worsely so if you go into your settings go to general and then go to login items you can see my login item that i have but if you were experiencing an issue where they were being deleted and then that issue has been resolved and also if you are having issues when it comes to user groups and profiles when it comes to some of your set parameters and custom configurations that issue has been resolved at this time and also on the apple's website they did mention that they resolved an issue when it comes to mac os 13.2 that has to do with sma app service issue there isn't a ton of changes that apple mentioned when this when it comes to this update and the release not only mentioned this sma app service and thank you for to everyone who managed to give us feedback when it comes to this update so basically those are the new features as well as some of the resolved issues that are here with this update now let's talk about performance i actually did take a screenshot when it comes to mac os 13.2 the first beta you can see i did a geekbench 5 score and mind you that this is the latest geekbench 5 version that i recently just updated so for single core i had 1359 and for multi-core i had 8487 and this is pretty much in good range compared to some of the other betas that i had been testing you can see here side by side when it comes to mac os ventura uh, 13 beta i believe this is beta 10 i had 1325 and 8275 so you can see that actually mac os 13.2 beta 2 scores higher than mac os 13 beta 10 so geekbench i'll keep an eye on it whether and tell you whether this increases or decreases as we go on with our testing when it comes to this update now a possible release date for this mac os 13.2 let's pull up my screen here and go to the calendar last year 2021 when it comes to mac os 12.2 beta 1 that update was released on december 16 and then mac os 12.2 beta 2 was released on 2022 which was january 11 so it took almost three weeks for the second beta to be released when it comes to mac os 12.2 so fast forward to this year today you can see the date is december 14 and when it comes to mac os 13.2 beta 2 i would anticipate the release date for this update to be next year 2023 between january 10 which is right here that you see and january 17 so it could be the second week of january or the third week of january 2023 and when it comes to the official release depending on how many betas i would say probably between january 24th to january uh, 31st that's when we can expect the official release of mac os 13.2 the official release so that's just a rough prediction just looking at what we had last year and what we might have this year to see when this update could be released so you can see that we're still a few weeks away before the official release so if you do update to mac os 13.2 right now and you find that you know it's giving you a headache you might be stuck on it for some time before a beta 2 or before even the official release comes out so it is a beta it's meant for testing and if you have a spare device perhaps it's something that you might think of but if it's just one device then it might not be worth it so other than that guys that's just about it for me when it comes to this update if you do like this video do leave a like and don't forget to drink your water and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video Peace.